I'm blessed just to be here tonight. Amen. Uh, do you know our the senior pastor of this church is supposed to close tonight? But, uh, you know, we went down to a meeting uh, down in Sacramento today and uh, he told me, hey, maybe you can uh, go speak on my behalf because uh, I, I don't feel well. Yeah, so, and I know that nothing happened by accident. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. And, uh, you see, it's almost, it's about 20 minutes to, to 10. I, are you tired? <laughs> huh? Are you sure? Are you tired? Can you just give me maybe like 10 minutes yes. or, sure. of your time? Yeah. Uh, do you know, I, I'm, I'm so touched tonight. But before I'm going to say something else, I want to just say this to you. Um, if I say a word that you don't understand, can you please forgive me? I want you to know that... Uh, I speak three languages, and English is my third language. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I remember. Uh, uh, by the way, I'm Fanunu, and I'm from Tonga. I'm a missionary to the islands of Micronesia. And um, uh, do you know the reason why I was so touched tonight? Because, uh, do you know, seeing the young people, you know, do something for God. Their yeah, talent. You know, seeing the, you know, um, people singing for the Lord. Mm -hmm. And I'm just so touched because, you know, just like what the sister says tonight, you know, sometimes we keep the gospel in the four wall of the church. Mm -hmm. You know, but the heart of God is, is out there with the people right. that are still Amen. lost. Right. Yeah? And, and as I mentioned to you, uh, just give me about 10 minutes of your time. Yes. You know, I remember when, when, when I, I was called to be a missionary, I was afraid. You know, because I, you know, I grew up in Tonga all my life. Never, never leave the island. And I, you know, I went to, you know, to school in a boarding school that they says we train to be a farmer. Don't know how to speak English. You know, don't laugh. You know, I think maybe when I say this, some of you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. But then I was called to be a missionary, and my daughter said to me one day, Dad, you know, when you speak Tongan, when you try to preach, you speak broken Tongan. And when you speak English, and, and you're up there, and I'm, you know, and I'm laughing because you also speak broken English. <laughs> you know, then I said to her, so what do you want me to do? She said, just be quiet. <laughs> I said, but I'm called to be a missionary. You know, I have to speak. Amen. Yeah? And, you know, the people who are, who are ministered to, they don't speak Tongan. So I have to speak English. With my broken English, I can be able to communicate the Word of God. Amen. 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 You know, with what I learned in a farming school, I can be able to speak yes. to people. You know, just like what uh, Pastor John says tonight, because of God's Spirit, mm -hmm. you know, because of God's Spirit in us, we can be able to what? To do all things. Yes. We can do all things. Yes. Through him who gives us the strength. Yes, right. Amen? Amen. Amen. And I'm just so blessed to be here tonight. You know, I was sitting down there and I said, maybe I just come up here and, and, and pray and close our service tonight. Yeah. You know, but that, because of what I was told to do, not only that, but I felt very strong in my heart to just share what the Lord has put in my heart. Amen. And, and I'm going to share to you tonight from the book of Daniel. Maybe when I say Daniel, some of you guys say, yeah, old story. Yeah. Do you know, you know the Bible. The, the, you know the stories in the Bible never too old. Right. I remember, right. you know, a, a man of God. I don't know if you heard about him. His name is Ponky. He's a missionary yeah. from Germany yeah. to Africa. And one day he stood yeah. up and, uh, and preached the gospel. And, you know, and and and, and a young man, uh, you know, stood up and said and asked him, Ponky, do you know that book that you hold in your hand is too old? Yeah. And then he said, you know, people, uh, people are tired of listening to that, you know, to that book. And, you know, he, he, he said this, you know, that book is too old, but it's so powerful. Mm -hmm. yes. Amen. 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 And I believe as we continue to hear the word of God, I believe God will touch our hearts. So Amen. I want to speak to you tonight from the book of Daniel. And like what I says, only one verse, uh, Daniel chapter one. And I'll read to you, I believe it's uh, um, verse eight. Daniel uh, chapter 1 verse 8 it says but Daniel resolved not to defile himself with the royal food and wine and he asked the chief official for permission not to defile himself this way huh? 
Amen. Maybe, you know, what I want to talk to you about tonight, as I mentioned to you, you know, as I sat down there, I felt in my heart to just come and, you know, just, just close in prayer. But I really felt so strong in my heart that maybe some of you need to hear this. As Pastor John said, he was asking how many of you tonight that are not saved, you know, and, and, and nobody put up their hands. Out. Then I believe that uh, this word is for you. Yeah? So whether you are, whether you are saved, um, it, you know, but, but one thing that I want to, you know, to tell you tonight, to know if you are saved, you can tell that you really saved. I'm talking about really saved. <laughs> That you're not going to hold back. Yeah, just like you know, the brothers that are here tonight, I can see fire in them when they speak. Why? Because of what God has done in their lives. Amen. Amen? And they're out there on the street trying to tell other other people about what Jesus has done in their life. And you know, if you're really saved, that's what you're gonna do. Yeah? And if you're really saved, you know, you're gonna be like the young people that come up here and just you know perform with all their hearts because they want God. To be glorified. They want other people to know God through their talent. Yeah? That is what uh, real saved. Maybe some of you say, man, but I'm a pastor of a church. Maybe you need to be saved. <laughs> <laughs> Amen? You know, Amen. let me just say this to you. What I want us to speak to in my, you know, in the next 10 minutes, make a difference. <laughs> Make a difference. So, so it means wherever you at, you need to make a difference. Whether you whether you on the street, yeah, whether you in school, whether you still in prison, in your family, whatever, wherever you at, make a difference. You know. Before I'm going to talk about the life of Daniel, there was a young man, his name is Daniel. Maybe some of you says, yeah, you just come up with that. <laughs> yeah? He was, uh, you know, uh, uh, he, um, he attends school and he was a seventh grader. And then, uh, he, you know, he, he, he found Jesus. He came to know the Lord. And when he went to school, he always had a desire to tell his friends about Jesus. Huh? So that, but the problem, his social science teacher, you know, he was an atheist. Yeah? And, 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 and Daniel, he's called that by the end of that semester, that most of the people in his class will be able to come to know the Lord or hear something about Jesus. And, and his teacher, his social science teacher, his, you know, his goal is that by the end of that semester, all the Christian kids in the school, they won't be able to believe in God. Yeah? So this boy one day keep praying for his teacher and keep trying to, you know, whenever they have assignment or something, he keep trying to say, you know, a few words about Jesus and just trying to influence the teachers about telling him about Jesus. And you know what happened to this man? Then one day this man says, okay, tomorrow is the last day of the semester. And, do you know, I, I, I haven't do much, but I have something in mind that I, you know, that I want to do. Because I want the kids, all the kids here in this school that knows anything about Jesus, I want them to go home and, you know, and, 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 and decide in their heart they don't want to have anything to do with Jesus. So he came up with this, uh, with, with this idea and then he, he brought an egg inside the, you know, the, the classroom. And then after that, then he said to, to Daniel, Daniel, do you know, I want to prove something to you today. And Daniel, about what? about your God. I want to prove to you today that your God is not alive and he's not the creator of this universe. So Daniel says, oh man, why do you have to do that? Yeah? And, and but anyway, you know, can you show it to me? Then he, 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 he picked up an egg and then this is what he said to Daniel. Do you know, if your God is real, you pray that when I drop this egg that it won't crack or it won't break. Yeah? And Daniel stood up, and this is what Daniel says to him. You know, can I pray out loud? And then he said, yeah, you can shout. Yeah, if you want to pray out loud, you can. Then this is what, you know, the boy says. He stood up while this teacher says, just hold the edge in your hand and don't drop it yet. Yeah, I will tell you when to drop it. So what, what these boys, you know, he stood up and he shout out loud, and then he said, God... I know that you are alive and I know that you are real and you live within my heart. And I pray that when this man, this atheist, 
will drop you know an egg from his hand that it will break into thousand pieces and he also fall down dead <laughs> You know, the teacher says, okay, class dismissed, you can all go back. You see what happened to this young man? He made a difference. Amen. Amen. What I'm trying to tell you tonight as Christians, do you make difference in the place where you are? You know, in your working place, that is where God puts you. God puts you there for a purpose. And if you do ministry to the homeless or whatever ministry that God has called you to, the, the question that I want to ask you tonight, do you make a difference? Amen. Amen. Because that, what ha that is what happened in the life of Daniel. Do you know when I heard all the testimony tonight, all I can think about is the life of Daniel. Do you know, you know just to go back to the story as the Bible says, you know that the, uh, the people of Israel they live in captivity to the Babylonian and then the king you know I'm, I'm trying to make this to cut the story short so you can understand what I'm trying to say okay then uh, um, what happened that you know this is what the, the king says you need to choose some of the young men very handsome and healthy young men from you know uh, from the people of Israel so they can and you have to feed them so they can be able to look good because when I want to use them then I then I will call on them yeah but remember what happened to Daniel maybe happened to most of us especially those of you that came up here remember that Daniel you know was taken away from his family yeah Daniel was taken away from his culture he was in a he was in a different culture he was, he was taken away from who he is or who he was on that day. Yeah? But then it comes to a time in the life of Daniel, he was told that this is the kind of food that you're going to eat. But in Daniel's heart, you know, one of the things that, you know, that, that, that I found when I read these scriptures, you know, in other translations it says, but Daniel purposely said in his heart that he's not going to defile himself. Yeah? What Daniel was already decided, he made a strong decision to him. You know, I'm not going to defile myself from the things of the king or the things of this world. Right. Daniel was trying to say, you, you, can, you can be able to take me away from my family. You can take me away from my culture. You can take me away from whatever you want to take me away. But you cannot take away the Jesus that I believe. Amen. 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 He decided on that day that he's going to stand for God on that day. Amen. 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 He made a difference on that day. Right. Do you know there were three other Jews that were with him because of Daniel's stand. They will be able to stand. Yeah. And I want to say to you tonight, do you know when you stand for God, other people will stand with you. Yes. Amen? Amen? Just like what everybody else says tonight. Because God is real and He's alive. Yes. And He has power to change. Yes. Amen? Amen? Amen. Yeah. And the challenge that I want to bring to us tonight, make a difference wherever you are. You know, sometimes this is what we say, oh, I'll make a difference when I come to church. You know, just like what pastor said tonight, you are, an, you are an hypocrite. You don't make a difference inside the church. You know, you, you want to be known outside the church. Right. And you know, maybe for those of you that you are here tonight, that you say, man, why do you have to speak like that? Yeah? But I want you to know, do you know the heartbeat of God? It is with the lost soul. Yes. Amen. Amen inside the church it's okay we can sing hallelujah we can praise the lord but i want you to know the heart of god it is for those who are on the street for those that need love for those that need help those people that's where the heart of god is because the heartbeat of god for soul to be saved amen amen, amen. and if there is the heartbeat of god for soul to be saved it should be our heartbeat tonight amen amen right. do you know brothers thank you so much for your testimony amen. tonight you know, sometimes in the place where I am, sometimes I feel lonely. Mm -hmm. It's just because when I look around, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just one of a few missionaries that are on the mission field in, in this part of the world. Mm -hmm. And you know, in the island where, where I work, I want you to know, you know, in Tonga, we have things that we call in the past, we call witchcraft. Yeah. 
You know, have you seen witchcraft in your life? You know, for those of you that grew up in Tonga, I hope there are a few here that grew up in Tonga. You know, sometimes Tongan women or Tongan young beautiful girls went down to Fiji to get an education and they, you know, and they go crazy. Just because of how powerful witchcraft in Fiji. I want you to know you haven't seen how powerful witchcraft is. Yeah? We have witch doctors in the place where we work. Do you know coconut trees? You know, the Tongan and the Samoan climb on coconut trees. Do you know this, all these uh, uh, witch doctors, they just look at the coconut and it falls down. Yeah? Sometimes I feel sometimes that I'm, I feel lonely on the mission field, just like, you know, what the Bible, what, what Jesus says, you know, uh, uh, Jesus says the harvest is ready, but the workers are few. Yeah? Yeah. That's how I felt sometimes. And you know, tonight I was so touched by the testimony of the brothers and the sisters of what God has done in their lives. And I'm asking you tonight, continue to pray because there are people out there who are dying without knowing Christ. And we know that when anybody dies without Christ, we know where they belong and where they go. But I'm here to challenge you tonight, brothers and sisters. Hear the testimony. Hear what God has done. And I hope that you can be able to decide in your heart tonight that you're going to make a difference for God's kingdom. Amen. And not only that, but for God's glory. Amen. 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 Do we all agree that we're going to make a difference? Amen. 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 Young people, I want to I encourage you guys tonight. Continue to dance for God. I know there will be souls that will be saved because of the dance that you, that you do for God. And I encourage you, do you know, because that's where my heart is at. I want to see young people be on fire for the Lord. You see, Daniel, you know, maybe some of you think that Daniel was an old man. No, I believe he was 14 during this time. But Daniel decided to stand. He was a young man that stands for God. He was a young man that wants to make a difference, you know, in the life of the king. He didn't even care. And I believe that's the kind of young people that we need nowadays. Yeah. Young people who don't even care. Right. You know? Do you know that's the problem that we have today? Peer pressure. Oh, I don't want to dance for God because I'm, I'm not going to look cool. Yeah. <laughs> but you can dance in a nightclub and look fool. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just, you know, I'm just hoping tonight that I can be able to inspire all the young people. And for those of you that you are here tonight, do something and make a difference for God. How many of you women that you uh, have a bye bye or you live in? Yes, that's where you're supposed to make a difference. Yeah? How many of you men that you work in a factory? You know, that's how we say it in New Zealand. <laughs> yeah? If you work in a factory or a yate like the Tongan man, you know, continue to make a difference wherever you are. Amen? And I believe that is the challenge that I want to bring to you today. Do you know, in order for somebody to come to know the Lord, God wants to use somebody like you and somebody like me. Amen? Do you know, all you can do, if you don't know the scriptures, all you can do is just give them a smile. Yeah? Because God will shine upon you. They will say, what is wrong with that person? Always smile. <laughs> yeah? The reason why you smile because Jesus is in you. Yes. Jesus is alive in you. Yes. Amen. Yes. And you can be able to make a difference. Amen. Amen. One thing that I just want to say in close tonight, just like what Daniel says, and I want to ask you that question before I be quiet and sit down tonight. Is there anything that defiles you? Is there anything in your life that you know that it's going to defile you? Or it's going to ruin your life and what God has done in your life? Don't tell me. Just, just keep it to yourself. Yeah? But that's what I want to close with tonight. Do you know Daniel knows that the, the king's food and the wine, it will defile his relationship with his God. And even though it was a command from the king, but he decided on that day, I'm not going to take it. He made a stand on that day. So I want to ask you the same thing tonight. Is there anything that you know, maybe something that is going on in your life or something that you like to do, that you know that it's going to defile your life or your relationship with the Lord? And I believe that God is speaking to all of us tonight. You just need to get rid of it. Amen.
Amen. Amen. And it's time for you, it's time for me to stand for God and make a difference wherever we are. May God bless you.